biggest misconception men have about women. You think we don't want to be approached. When in reality, most women are dying for you to come up to them. Leave me alone at this point. I'm minding my business. I don't do anything. I don't say anything. Leave me alone, please. This goes out to the gym guys. I know you are told not to approach girls in the gym, but someone like myself who lives in the gym definitely wants to find someone with the same values. So I have no problem with you approaching me. Tween sex or at themes of my workout, as long as you're not a creep. Winky face. Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise and child we gonna take a look at these crazy ass women okay all of them there's not one that's crazier than the other because they all crazy okay don't approach me don't talk to me why don't you approach me why don't you talk to me i don't need you i need you don't talk to me talk to me you're a creep you're so cute i don't know what i'm doing what's going on no one approach like oh my goodness Y'all are driving these women crazy. Do you hear me? They are on. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand how is a person supposed to know what that particular person wants? You go and approach them. They spaz out. You don't approach them. They spaz out. How is anyone supposed to know? This is complete mental illness. And then we get online and we run. How about the woman with the. Jim Barbell woman talking about this don't do wait what did she say so you telling me this woman is not thirst trapping this goes out to the gym guys I know you are told not to approach girls in the gym but someone like myself who lives in the gym definitely wants to find someone now we gonna sit up here and thirst trap and then try to say oh well I'm in the gym and I want you to approach me like someone's supposed to know who the hell this is and then see someone like what? So you're not thirst trapping. But then as soon as you approach her and it's not someone that she's interested in, she's going to claim that they're what? Uh, harassing her and with the same values. So I have no problem with you approaching. Yes, these are values, y'all. These are values. OK, me tween sex or at themes of my workout as long as you're not a creep Winky. Uh, you can approach me as long as you're not a creep. Who's supposed to discern with that? What? You, you can come, you can come to me. Who's she pointing to? Who knows? Because you're not, if you're, as long as you're not a creep. Crazy. Face. Okay, so TikTok. I was at the gym earlier today and I had just finished my cardio. You know, I was feeling great. You know, I was doing squats and all that. You know, feeling really good about myself. And then this cute boy walked into the gym and, you know, he was really respectful. Like he was making sure to like not be like, to like close to me or whatever but what's the like protocol etiquette the like right way to like talk to a cute boy when you're at the gym because i didn't want to like be like hey you know what's up because you know we're clearly both doing our things during our workouts but i was like oh he's cute so y'all are crazy do you hear me young women ladies women females y'all are crazy What's the protocol for when I'm in the gym and I see a cute guy? Girl, what is the protocol when you're not in the gym and you see a cute guy? What difference does it make where you at? You're a punk. Just call spade to spade. You wouldn't approach him whether he was in the gym, out of the gym, at McDonald's, down the street, around the corner. Because you're too busy being worried about what he's going to say. What do people think? What if he says no? You don't even. So you in the gym, which obviously a lot of guys are in the gym. I mean, it's a given, right? So, you know, it's a place to potentially meet someone because that's where they at. So why couldn't you just say, hey, what's up? Can we go for a coffee when this is over? Let's go on over to Starbucks. Let's go on down to Jamba Juice. Let's go to some other healthy food place thereafter. Let's go catch a monster. I don't know. Like you can't come up with nothing. You can't think of anything. No, you can. You won't because you're scared because you a punk ass. OK, I'm not just talking to her. I'm just talking about any of y'all that's so daggone scared to say something to a daggone man when you know daggone well you're interested or you're attracted to that person. You wasting your time. You wasting your life because clearly y'all don't know how to flirt.
First of all, that would always be the first thing that I would say to do, but y'all don't know how to do that. So if you don't know how to flirt and then you're scared to approach people because you don't want to be rejected, die alone. I don't know. What's like the right thing to do when you're in that situation? Grow up. I have no idea. Three men approached me outside of a store today and then proceeded to yell at me and call me rude because I didn't want to share my name with them. Why do you think I owe that to you? If I don't want to share my name with you, I don't have to. I don't know you. I don't owe you shit. Look at that. So this is this is the person that approached the other girl in the gym and this is what she's going to say. She's going to turn around and say this. She just got to get on the internet just to say all this unnecessarily. Girl, you could have kept this to yourself. And for, I know you can't see it. It says she's lying. No men approached her. But the point is, is that she didn't need to get on here and get on the internet and carry on like this because you should be happy that someone approached you. All you got to do is say, oh, thank you. I'm not interested. What's wrong with that? You probably had this stink ass attitude like you're showing right now, trying to act like you're all that because three people approached you in five years. She's going to be like, where did all the men go? No one's approaching me. Why don't guys come up to women anymore? Psychotic. All, throw the whole generation away. That's what I say. It's rude of you to even assume that I want to talk to you. Mind your business. Now it's rude of you to think that I would want to talk to you. I'm telling you, this is a biatch. If I knew what her TikTok was individually, you'd go on there and see that she was like, I was in such and such and no one approached me. None of the guys came up to me. They didn't buy me a drink. They didn't say anything. They didn't offer to do this, that, and the third. Business. Mind your business. Nowhere on my agenda did it say to pick up three men at the store today. If this is really how you talk in real life, ma'am, no one wants you. I agree with what's written. Mind your business. Okay, so I don't know if you've seen the video that's going around, and it's about a woman, a black lady, and she's like, oh my gosh, uh, me and my friends went out, and nobody was like trying to get at us. Nobody showed interest. Because they uh, thought about that girl that just went off and how nasty of a funky attitude that she had, acting like she's all that. Girl, you not Beyonce. I mean, seriously, that nasty ass, just tone in the audacity to think that you are somebody but some blonde chick, okay, at the end of the day? Like, you're all offended because someone had the audacity to approach you. She'll die alone. There's nobody anything. And a guy duetted it or stitched it, and he actually said, well, look what you women have done. Like, this is what you wanted, correct? So I want to piggyback off of that. Ladies, y'all, not all of y'all, but you guys wanted this whole oh leave us alone you guys are perverts you guys are weirdos like we hate men thing you guys are on this fucking bandwagon to like you hate men what is the fucking goal of this what is the point of this because you know what you guys are doing to be uh combative to be difficult to try to act like they have more power to try to be over men to try to step on men to try to act like they have everything and they don't need a man when in all actuality they're just over here driving themselves insane because if all these women really weren't interested in men and i'm just talking about straight people right now but if all these people really weren't interested in men didn't want no man and they could do without a man and all this about a man a man a man a man they wouldn't be online talking about men 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 and then sometimes talking about men when you're ruining it for the women who do want to be approached you're ruining it for the women who are shy and do want that guy to come no you know what for those women that have common daggone sense it's not on this crazy train that these women are on go ahead and make your daggone move just make your daggone move just wave just say hi just flirt just I don't know, ask the dude his name, offer to buy a drink, send a man a drink from down at the end of the bar, send him a drink, buy him a drink. Like y'all, come on, you got to, you can combat this foolishness and show that you are not on that crazy train as these other women, okay? So you have to accept the fact that you may get re uh, rejected, but it's, it's okay. Once you get it once or twice, you'll get used to, not used to it, but it won't hurt you as much. That just ain't the person for you. That's all. But if you think that, that this is just my two cents, right? 
If there is a man who's the most gorgeous man in the whole place and you go and press him and you see that there's 15 other girls doing the same, that's like maybe take a step back. You're probably going to get rejected, right? Um, obviously, if you're half naked, you have a better shot. But if you want to get someone that's respectable and probably will give you the time of day and you can turn it to potential, you can potentially turn it into something, then don't look for the hottest guy in the room. That's just my thought process come up to them does that make sense and you're also ruining it for the guys who are great guys have great intentions maybe they're just nervous when they come up to you so they're shy and like anxious and you take that as them being a pervert or a weirdo where does this lead up to like i honestly want to know what the whole point of this is because at this point it's going to come to a nobody wants to come up to you nobody's going to talk to you nobody's going to try with you and everybody's going to be thinking damn he's not interested in me so ladies you guys wanted men to back down from it. So are you guys going to step up to the plate? Are you guys going to start asking guys out? Nope. Nope. And then they're going to get on TikTok and lie about it and just say, someone just approached me and that was so creepy. Or they'll make thirst traps and say, you can approach me. And then the next one will be like, I don't want anything to do with you, man. Leave me alone. They're so misogynistic. Oh, it's exhausting. Ladies, you got what you wanted. So here it is. This is where we are. Women are going to have to start making a move. Just be cautious with it. Make sure that you're doing it with the right intentions in the right way for the right person. Stop going home with people on the first day on night or no one is there. It's okay to talk in public and things of that nature. You just need to be safe. That would be my two cents. Good luck to you, though. This is what y'all wanted. This is where you are. This is where it's at. So you all need to change. That's the new story. Okay? If not, buy a dog. You know the rest. Appreciate you if you made it this far. Thank you so much for all my followers. For the 66% that are watching, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Everything is listed below. I will see you all in the next one.